Hi everyone, welcome back to Joanne Tech Lover. I'm Joanne and I went to Computex 2016 and did some event coverage. This video will cover Corsair's booth. Let's begin. Here's a quick look at what Corsair has to offer in the product line. I took a close look at the ML series fans. These fans come with magnetic levitation bearing, which sounds like a magician's trick. This bearing levitates the rotor off of the motor, so there's only air on air contact. It allows for the fan to spin much faster and there's less vibration and noise. These fans are made from fiberglass reinforced polymer. Corsair claims that you can stand on these fans and they will not break. Wow, that's built Corsair tough. Here's a closer look at the ML Pro series fans. They've got rubber corners for sound dampening. You can change up the colors as well. You can get these in the 120mm or 140mm models. The 120mm has an RPM of 400 to 2400. The 140mm has an RPM range of 400 to 2000. The ML Pro series fans without LEDs cost $24.99 for the 120mm and $27.99 for the 140mm. It costs $28.99 for the 120mm LED version and $39.99 for the 140mm LED fans. These are the prices I was quoted at Computex 2016. Now let's move on to the SP and HD series RGB fans. The SP120 RGB fans on the left side have four one zone RGB LEDs. These come with programmable RGB LEDs through Corsair Link. There's a controller that allows you to change up the speed, color, and modes. You get breathing, pulsing, flashing, and solid colors. This color scheme and pattern seriously remind me of owl's eyeballs. Hoot hoot! The HD120 RGB fans shown on the right have 12 individual RGBs inside the fan frame. There's a lot more you can do with the LEDs on the HD series fans. For example, you get a variety of animations like this trippy looking spiral color wheel. You can also program the LEDs through Corsair Link. The speed and effects can be changed. The RGB hub can support up to six fans at the same time. Both the SP and HD RGB fans are only available in the 120mm version. The SP120 RGBs come in a three pack with a controller for $64.99. The HD120 RGBs cost $74.99 as a 3-pack with controller. Next thing I checked out was the DDR4 memory. These are the Dominator Platinum Special Edition, Blackouts, and Chrome Edition sticks in white LEDs. The LEDs are constant and stay white. They come in 3200 MHz frequencies with overclocking capabilities. The heatsink is flat, polished aluminum. Next to the Dominator dims are the Vengeance LEDs. They come in white and red colors and currently show a breathing effect. Here's a look at the Vengeance memory with white LEDs on a test bed. In addition to breathing, these sticks can also pulse their LEDs. There's a heartbeat lighting mode, and of course you can turn the LEDs off. You can turn XMP on in BIOS for a memory boost to 4400MHz for the Vengeance dims. That's blazing fast! These also have aluminum housing. The Vengeance memory has a release date of June 21st. The Special Edition Dominators will be releasing in July. They will be limited to 500 kits of each. Finally, we have a look at the Bulldog. This machine is built for 4K and VR gaming. This unit is meant to sit in your living room, and a perfect complement would be the Corsair Lapdog, which I have done a video on for Joanne Tech Lover YouTube. Check that out if you haven't already. What you're seeing is the mass production unit of the Bulldog. Corsair decided to switch from an aluminum finish to plastic with gloss. They kept the aluminum feet, but shortened them. This current system is running an i7-6000K processor. The bundle comes with the GA170N Wi-Fi ITX motherboard. It's powered by an SFX 600W 80 plus gold power supply and uses Corsair's H5SF liquid CPU cooler with 120mm fan. This demo unit has two 92mm intake fans inside the Bulldog. Here's the 240 gig Force LE SSD which is not included in the bundle. Beneath the SSD mount is the Hydro GFX 980 Ti graphics card, also not included with the bundle. Check out my channel for the video. The Bulldog bundle sells for $399 with the motherboard. The bundle includes the CPU cooler, PSU, motherboard, and the case. It's $299 without the motherboard. You must purchase the graphics card and other parts separately. Here's a look at Overwatch on 4K using the Bulldog. The game was played on an 80 inch screen, yowza. You're looking at the game on epic settings and everything turned to max. It's getting 68 to 70 frames per second. This is with VSync off. That wraps up my event coverage at Computex 2016 on Corsair's booth. If you like what you saw and you want to see more like it, be sure to hit the like, comment, and subscribe buttons, as well as follow me on social media. Joanne Tech Lover Facebook, Joanne Tech Lover Gunner Twitter, and Joanne Tech Lover once more on Instagram. Also, be sure to check out my other YouTube channels, JTL Lifestyle, JTL Cuteness Overload, and JTL Love Life and Advice. I guess that's all for now, and I'll see you later.